And now there's a twist to the Russian death case. The Chennai police is all set to assist Kalangut police into the death of a Russian Alexandra. She was a model and worked in a few South Indian movies. And she had earlier complained of sexual harassment two years back. A 24 year old Russian woman, that is Alexandra Dajvi, who accordingly to the local police hung herself from the ceiling fan in a rented home in North Goa village on 19th August and had previously harassed in Chennai in 2019 by a photographer for sexual favors. A lawyer from the Russian consulate in Mumbai said that the Goa-based lawyer Vikram Varma also said that the post-mortem of the remains of Dautvi, as well as the 34-year-old actor Ekaterina Titova, who was also found dead in her apartment in a separate incident which could conduct a presence of Russian consular officials soon. Now the Goa police has, however, not mentioned the Chennai angle and whether they would question the photographer in Chennai. ...about these two deaths. One is a 24-year-old and one is a 34-year-old Russian national. Now, we are waiting for further information on them. Regarding the 24-year-old Alexandra, we have received information that uh, she had been blackmailed in 2019 for sexual favours and after a preliminary inquiry the Chennai police had registered an FIR. But this is preliminary information and we hope that the Goa police can investigate the matter thoroughly and rule out any possible, a possible suspicion in her death. So this death? So we are expecting officers diplomats from the consulate to be visiting Goa in September. So they will look into the matter. Do you have any post-mortem going on? No, I believe uh, the clearances and all have to be taken. The family has to be informed. So after taking clearances, the NOC will be provided for the post-mortem. Until then, I am informed that the bodies have been safely put in the GMC. But how are you seriously seeing on these uh, two incidents? Matter of death, where, and especially where the death involves a young pet person, the levels of suspicion have to be very high and we should rule out any possibility of uh, homicide because people who do murder, sometimes they disguise, they act in such a clever manner that it appears like a suicide or an accident. On 19 August 2021, we had received information regarding the death of two ladies of Russian nationality uh, in the area of Shivulim of uh, P.S. Anjuna. Uh, upon uh, receiving that information, the staff of P.S. Anjuna had visited the spots uh, while one of the females who was 24 year old holding a Russian passport was uh, found to have died. Prima facie cause of death uh, was asserted as a hanging. And in the other case, a 34-year-old Russian passport holder lady was uh, found dead uh, in her bedroom. Uh, in both cases, uh, we have uh, we have we are following the legal procedure, which is we have informed the embassy to appoint a representative. An inquest proceeding in the meantime is ongoing. Uh, once the representative is assigned, uh, further medical legal formalities such as the post-mortem examination will be conducted. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we are not suspecting any foul play as of now. However, uh, we will wait for statements from the representatives and the final uh, decision on the cause of death uh, by the medical legal examination. As I said, post-mortem will be conducted in the presence of representatives of the Russian Embassy. Uh, so we have already written to the Russian Embassy to appoint representatives for, for the medical legal uh, formalities. Uh, once uh, the representatives are here, we will be conducting uh, the post-mortem examination. So both of them, what about the names? Uh, one uh, of them is by the name of Alexandra uh, Rijavi and the other one who is 34 years uh, is uh, by the name of Ekaterina. So both has an Anjuna uh, residency otherwise... Uh, they were both place. residing in Anjuna.